Welcome to the Map My Run video tutorial. The first action you will want to take is going to the website www.mapmyrun.com. You can use Safari, Google Chrome, or Internet Explorer, and Map My Run should work just fine. Once you arrive at the website, you'll have the choice of creating an account by logging in with Facebook, with your email, whether that's Georgia State or personal, or logging in with your already existing password. I'm going to choose to sign in with Facebook so that I can use all my Facebook friends as a source of support. I type in my username and my password and I hit login. After creating an account and logging in, you will then arrive at the home screen. The home screen provides you with multiple tabs. Under the home tab, you can view your previously created and logged workouts. You can also view the routes that you may save if you're a walker, runner, jogger, biker, or hiker. You can see your goals you've set for exercise. You can look at your friends and groups you may be part of or events around Atlanta. We are first going to focus on the friends tab under the my home screen. So choose my friends tab. Once your account is created, you will receive a friend request from your desire to move liaison. You will want to accept this friend request. This will allow you to be connected to other desire to move users specifically. This will also allow you to track the D2M liaison to track and record your physical activity minutes and put them into the D2M database. Remember, D2M is a competition and your department physical activity minutes will be summed at the end of the eight weeks. You can also find friends if you want to invite them if they're in the department to be part of D2M or if you have other friends that are already part of Map My Run, you can become friends with them. <clears throat> this will help you communicate best um, with other people and provide support to others and so they can provide support to you as far as continuing with physical activity. After becoming friends with the D2M liaison, we will practice logging or recording one of our bouts of physical activity, aka a workout. So you can either choose the My Workout Log Workout tab or under My Home choose My Workouts in the drop down selection. This will take you to a page with multiple options and pop ups. If you are a runner, walker, biker, or anything like that, and would like to create and log your routes, you can do so. If you would think that logging your food or nutrition would be helpful, you can do that as well. However, neither is necessary for D2M. So what we want to do is log a workout. You can select it on the main list of tabs um, right there. So what you want to do is you can see there are multiple options for you to type in information about your workout. You want to be as specific as you want for monitoring your physical activity, but for D2M, the main importance is logging minutes. The first thing we'll want to do is give our workout a name so that you can remember what you did and in case you want to go back and uh, copy this workout again. So for me, I'll type in Piedmont Park Run. The next thing you want to do is choose the date of your workout. It's easiest to log your physical activity the day you actually do it. Um, so for me, December 12th. However, we do understand that sometimes we forget to log our physical activity. So you can al always go to the date and choose a previously completed day of workout if you need to. For example, Thursday, December 11th, if I forgot to log my physical activity, I can always choose that and type in the name of my workout, the duration, the type, and time. However, D2M is based on the honor principle, so we'd like you to log only physical activity in minutes that you actually engaged in. So after you select the date of your physical activity, you can then select the Show Details tab if you want to be more specific. For my run, I can select um, what time I started running. I can also select the end time for my run. However, this part is not required, just an option if you think it'll be more enjoyable or helpful for your fitness. You can also select how you felt like your workout went. I felt tired, but I felt glad when I was finished. You can select your rating of perceived exertion or how hard you felt like you worked during that workout. You can also select how you felt based on a smiley face and on the weather that day. Today it was really cold. Again, this whole aspect is not necessary, mainly just the name of your workout, the date, and the duration. So next we'll want to select an activity. So here, you can either type in the activity that you've done, you can select from the popular list of items such as run, jog, bike, etc. For me, if I type in run, 
I can see indoor options, for example, if I run around the track at the rec center. Or I can select various outdoor options of jogging. Since I ran through trails at Piedmont Park, I may want to select cross-country running. So I'll select that. If I want to, I can upload a map or create a route of where I ran. Again, that part isn't necessary. So next, you can see the duration, which is crucial for D2M. And it already said 45 minutes because I put the start time and end time of my workout. So that's just a simple shortcut to not having to type in your duration. However, if I didn't do the details, it would be necessary for me to type in my duration of my workout. I can also type in the distance that I ran as well. And what is crucial is to hit save. Every time you finish a workout, you need to hit save so that the D2M liaison can see how long you've been working out. And after getting rid of the pop-up, you can see my distance and just basically a summary of my Piedmont Park run for December 12th. So you may be wondering, well, what if I, you know, don't necessarily run? Or what if I don't bike or do something like that where duration is so easy? We'll show you a way to fix that or to add other types of workouts. But here you can see a calendar of everything I've done this week. And that's what the D2M liaison will see as well basically helping you keep track um, and log all your minutes of physical activity. Again, you need a 10 minute bout of physical activity for it to count um, towards D2M minutes. But say on Sunday, December 7th, I decided to do a weightlifting workout. Um, what I can do is click on the day, the December 7th, and add a workout there. And <clears throat> again, if I want to, I can give my workout a name such as upper body weightlifting and the date's already been selected. And I could do the details again, but it's not necessary. And now what I'm really going to do is show you how to input maybe a weightlifting workout. For instance, if I type in weight workout, I can see all the different options that they have there. But for me, we'll just say for upper body, I did, you know, flat bench press. And I can either type in the duration of each um, type of exercise so I can type that in there or if I would like to I can type in the number of sets and repetitions and weight that I've completed so for example if I did 12 repetitions of 160 pounds then 12 repetitions of 165 pounds and then did you know maybe I, I failed to complete all 12 so I did 11 repetitions of 170 pounds and that was what I did for bench press however I could then add the rest of my exercises that I did as far as resistance training goes. Maybe I did some sort of shoulder press or something like that. You can see all the options they have regarding P90X or certain resistance training or weight lifting um, shoulder exercises there. And you can basically see how easy it is to then log all your weight lifting exercises. Um, and once I feel like I've, I've added my entire workout I just hit save. And you can see that um, It'll keep track of your minutes for weightlifting as well, along with your sets and reps. So it's another way or resource for you to keep track of um, how your weightlifting may be going. If you have any questions leading up to Desire to Move or along the eight-week journey, feel free to contact either your team captain, your department liaison, or Desire to Move directly at desiretomove.gsu.edu.